Hi, I'm Larry Shane today with CNN Machinery, and here we talk about tall and long folder. We make these folders from 13 foot all the way up to 40 feet, that's 4 meter to 12 meter, and 18 gauge, 1.25 millimeter, all the way up to 11 gauge or 3 millimeter. This machine is an 18 gauge by 21 foot or 1.25 millimeter by 6.4 meter. There's many features I'm going to talk about this machine, but first I'm going to start out with the upper beam and the crowning adjustment. Uh, it comes with a crowning adjustment so you can do radius work or you can bend heavy material to thin material and still get a straight bend. The great thing with the crowning adjustment is for radius is you might need a little bit more of the upper beam coming forward in the middle than in the ends or vice versa. Uh, that way you can adjust it based on the tensile temperature. Now we're going to talk about the upper jaw. You notice how it uh, curves in right here? Uh, we do that for two reasons. One, to strengthen the upper beam, but two is to have relief for parts like a door jam, uh, J-channel, um, anything that's got a, uh, uh, needs relief in this area. Other machines have a 45 degrees, so it causes you to have problems trying to push the part in or the part opens up on you. Right now I'll do a one inch by two inch J channel and you'll see it perfectly parallel with the base. That's what keeps the accuracy uh, from left to right, but also 
We also have a fine thread with a collar nut right here, so you can adjust that back edge to within, you know, one thousandths of an inch. Our back edge. You're going to see it come forward. And you can see how it twisted right there, and it was able to still gauge the part. Our beat of the uh, Talman machine is the uh, torsion shaft. We have one for an upper beam, one for a folding beam. You can see the upper beam right here, and this is a kinetic torsion shaft. The actual cylinders are connected to it, and then the cylinders are, the torsion shaft is connected to the C frame. So even though one cylinder is working different over 20 feet, you know, 10 years down the road, we're not going to get twist because the torsion shaft transmit the force evenly so it clamps today just like 20 years from now. The hydraulic cylinder right here is connected to the torsion shaft and the hydraulic pump is over here. Tallman recommends to change the oil on their hydraulics every 15 years. They put their, they assemble their hydraulics in a clean room environment and they don't believe it's necessary and they've proven it over the years that their system is clean. The only time that you would have to change the oil is in 15 years or if you damage a hose or you know have something hit it where you're having to change oil then you should change the filter. Back to the cylinder on the upper beam it's connected to the torsion shaft and then the torsion shaft runs all the way down and all the cylinders are connected to it for the full for the upper beam. We also have a kinetic uh, positive stop. You will never, never on a Tallman overclamp the machine and, and cause it to uh, crack the C-frames. It can't be done because of this positive stop. So we're going to start the uh, machine and we're going to clamp. And you're going to see the torsion shaft move. You can see it moving all the time, and that causes the, the C-frame to clamp. So there's positive kinetic stop on there, and it's also a positive push of the upper beam evenly. And the reason why it's evenly, again, is because of this torsion shaft. If this cylinder is working a little bit harder than the other one, it doesn't matter because it's transmitting the force across that torsion shaft. We use spherical bearings, lifelong bearings, and all of our uh, uh, connections. And you can see the movement there. And then it hits a positive stop at the end. Now we're going to talk about the folding beam, the hydraulics. You see the hydraulic uh, cylinder here, and uh, the, all the hydraulic cylinders are connected to another torsion shaft. The advantage of this is, just like on the upper beam, if this cylinder is pushing more than another cylinder, it doesn't matter. It's going to transmit the force evenly across the cylinders, I mean the uh, torsion shaft, so you get nice even bending. What we also do different is we don't connect our cylinder right to the linkage. It's connected to the torsion shaft right here. And then by doing that, we eliminate having to use bushings. So our linkages are with uh, forged and hardened pins, and we don't use any bushings in our uh, linkages with our bushing uh, with our pins. And the pins are uh, straight to the uh, linkages, and it gives a nice even bend across it. The problem with bushings is they have to be replaced, and the question to ask is when do you replace them? You never have to worry about that on a Tallman. The other thing that's nice is with our linkage design, we get a true full elliptical radius bending. Other machines, it's more of a three-quarter half, uh, three-quarter moon radius. If you look at the profile, it makes it very advantageous when you're doing uh, grade 80 material. You're getting a nice even radius, so you don't crack the material. Now we're going to talk about controls. Uh, what you're seeing right here is the 3001 Beckhoff control. You can also get an AMS Pathfinder control. The difference is they're both graphics, but the AMS gives you uh, automatic sequence uh, programming. 
Uh, we'll show the uh, 3000 right here. It's very easy to go to different profiles. If I just go to here and click on the dimension, instead of saying three inches, I want five inches. It gives me a new cut size and it graphically changes. When I'm ready to run, I can simulate it and I can see all the bends that I want to do. And then when I'm ready to run, I hit auto, turn the pump on, and hit start. Of course, with the 21 footer, you can run 21 foot parts, but we're going to show uh, two guys running a couple parts. Okay. Yeah.